Today, I am going to introduce a movie called Loving You Is You. Two girls fell in love during their school days, but were forced apart. After a chance encounter, they made a pact that if they were still single at the age of 30, they would get married. However, before reaching 30, one of them got married, and the other became the bridesmaid. Lee Younglin received a call from her first love, who said, I am getting married, will you be my bridesmaid? The other person was her first love, and they had agreed that if they were still unmarried at 30, they would marry each other. However, her first love was getting married now. During their school days, they were close friends. Lee Younglin had a crush on a teacher, and it was discovered by others. Lee Zinyu didn't console her, but whispered in her ear, I like you, fool. Confused, Lee Younglin sat on the ground, not knowing what to do. Later, she found out that Lee Zinyu had a crush on her. Initially awkward, as they spent time together, she realized that Lee Zinyu brought her a unique joy that no one else could provide. Reflecting on the moment spent with Lee Zinyu, Lee Younglin genuinely smiled from the heart. Unbeknownst to them, they had endless conversations. One day, while impersonating characters from movies and shows, a call interrupted them, as their breath quickened, Lee Zinyu kissed her, the result, their first time, inexperienced, left their lips swollen. When they returned to school, they found out that a lesbian couple was reprimanded by the principal, and the whole school knew about it, Lee Zinyu panicked and intentionally avoided Lee Younglan, however, Lee Younglan still believed that their love was true, and bought a ring with her savings, Lee Zinyu, considering it mere playfulness between friends, angrily threw the ring into a pool, chasing after her, Lee Younglin forcefully kissed Lee Zinyu on the playground, initially scared and resistant, Lee Zinyu, witnessing Lee Younglin's bravery, took the initiative to kiss her back, the school made them write repentance letters, Lee Younglin spoke into the microphone, admitting the relationship was a mistake and acknowledging her error, but Lee Zinyu tore up the repentance letter, she had already taken full responsibility in the letter, protecting Lee Younglin, just like the incident with the mobile phone. Lee Zinyu left school and moved away, Lee Younglan, frantic, searched for her but found no trace, alone on the rooftop. She wished Lee Zinyu a happy birthday, reminiscing about the past. One day, they met again, but Lee Zinyu had a boyfriend, and Lee Younglan, heartbroken, got involved with a boy. Upon meeting again, much had changed, Lee Zinyu's father had passed away, and she had broken up with her boyfriend. Lee Younglan suggested, let's get back together. Lee Zinyu replied, if we're both still single at 30, let's get married. In that moment, I recalled Nankang Baiki, who once told his boyfriend, he'll wait for you until you're 35. But before 35 arrived, Nankang jumped into the Ziajiang River, saying, he'll never reach 35, so he'll wait for you forever. The result, before 30, Lee Zinyu got married, and Lee Younglin was the bridesmaid, Lee Younglin put the ring from the past on Lee Zinyu's finger, holding hands tightly as she escorted her to the wedding altar, just like they did when they walked towards the church with veils on their heads, Lee Younglin personally handed her beloved person to someone else, while Lee Zinyu left her loved one for someone else, unable to break free from societal norms, they chose to restrain themselves, trapping their love in the past, in the final scene, with a lump in their throats, they cried, and I cried too, they no longer had the courage to passionately kiss each other on the playground, but that scene became the most beautiful memory of their lives, just like the person from the past became a secret in our hearts. Actually, I didn't really like this movie, their love was never mutual, the former Lee Younglan was willing to take all the responsibility, while Lee Zinyu thought that two girls being together was shameful, when Lee Zinyu finally found Lee Younglan, and confessed her feelings, she seemed to have forgotten the past, and moved on with someone new, even when Lee Younglan was alone and vulnerable, they couldn't come together for warmth, a simple never see each other again marked years of separation, is this really love? Without passionate struggles, just a simple farewell, perhaps it's the uncertainty of the other's feelings, one afraid of separation, and the other unsure why, one person fulfilled the other, and Lee Zinyu seemed to have lived the life Lee Younglan didn't want, studying the film she once loved, making their story the first movie, daring to be true to herself despite society's judgment. Meanwhile, Lee Younglan, pressured by society, settled down at 29. If it were you, would you be willing to stay by the side of your loved one as friends? Perhaps the companionship of friends is longer lasting than that of lovers. 
but there will always be regrets, if you can't be together, consider it a beautiful memory, let time gradually fade the past, and along the way, you meet new people, create new feelings, only those who truly let go of the past can face the future, so, liking you is you, not liking you is still you, you don't need to change anything for my liking, if love isn't the most beautiful form between us, then perhaps friendship can be, do you still remember your young love? If Cher's still unmarried after 30, would you reconnect with her? Leave your comments in the comment section.